Wales and Georgia, folks. 12 points to 13. The Georgians get a win. Sadly, I knew the result. So I didn't get to have the edge of your seat joyous moment at the end for the Georgians' behalf or a uh, head and hand moment from a Welsh point of view. But anyway, we'll go through some key events and stats. I've just watched the game and you guys can let us know. There was obviously such a big result was all over the rugby news here in NZ. So multiple pundits talking about it. I will not blame anyone. I can only blame myself for not getting up at two in the morning to watch it. What happens in this game? Uh, Wales probably don't take their chances in that first half. I mean, Georgia start with a heck of pressure. They came out absolutely firing pressure from the kickoff. Win a penalty, up for three points, 3-0 three lead. Happy days. Georgia, um, Wales get pinged again at the breakdown. Georgia's go like six phases, pass it into touch. A bit too ambitious, but Georgia has started this game with intent. Here's where you expect Wales to kind of pull the game back in, and they do. They win a scrum penalty. They go for touch. They maul it. They knock it on, but the momentum is with Wales. They're trying to wrestle control back. They go again to the Welsh. Georgia end up pushing Cuthbert into touch, but... I mean, Wales are, are trying to turn the screws. It's that arm wrestle, which the, the, the forces initially started with Georgia, but they've not managed to land a killer blow, obviously, too early. And then Wales are slowly coming back into it, as you would expect, as the more fancy of the two teams. Um, can they score, though, Wales? Well, they finally crack it on uh, 20 minutes. Jack Morgan, who had a pretty good game. It's a bright side if you're a Welsh fan, is Jack Morgan. Uh, Line-out move. They send Adam Baird up. They pop the ball back down to, I think, it's straight to Jack Morgan, isn't it? He does a wee dummy pump, and two Georgians fall for it. Bam, straight over. Try time, seven points to three. Wales are in front. And then four minutes later, he gets a double. He's hanging out on the wing as Wales are kind of attacking, attacking. And um, it's smart play from him because he can see he's not needed in that ruck, so don't get in there. Maintain the width, and um, yeah, they can't convert, but 12-3, misconversion. And you're thinking Wales are going to run away with it. Surely. I'm not thinking that because I've already been spoiled to the result, but if I was watching it live, that's probably what I would have been thinking. Uh, Josh Adams looks to have got one as well from a weak kick and regather in the corner. It's proper skill, but forward pass in the build-up from Thomas Williams chalks that one off, sadly. But it's still Wales, man. They keep doing these choke tackles. Lob Janidza gets stuck in one, so it's a turnover for Wales whenever Georgia got the ball. And, um, yeah, 12-3 is the halftime score. If anything for Wales, it's, they, they'd be disappointed they didn't score more points in the first half. They had 55% possession, 65% territory. The Georgians conceded double the penalties, 6-3. Wales needed more points in that first half. Second half starting to look a little bit ominous, like the warning signs are there. Ninyash really, they're kicking him the ball. He's getting some free meters. You don't want to be doing that. We've seen him do well, what he can do before. Jalagonia managed to get a clean break, the big Lucy. So um, him running havoc in a game where there weren't many clean breaks. And uh, Georgia are starting to win some wee turnovers. And then the Welsh are starting to, or continuing to, knock the ball on a bit. A little bit frustrating. Then there's a key moment. 51 minutes. Cuthbert, I mean, he doesn't do a lot wrong, but he does enough wrong. When uh, Todawa, the Georgian winger, is going up for a high ball. Cuthbert's chasing it down as well. He's got his head on, well, his head up, eyes on the ball. But he realises pretty late, oh, I'm not going to get there in time. And uh, he pulls out of it, but not before he gets in the way of um, Tottawa's landing. So Tottawa lands awkwardly, and it's a yellow card, I think, pretty fairly. And um, the pressure's on. What can Georgia do with the extra man? Well, firstly, they go through a bunch of phases and then get held up in the tackle, so it's a mall turnover like Wales have been doing all day. And then uh, they go through another bunch of phases and Wales win a clean turnover again. So two big attacking waves. Handled well enough by the Welsh. Can the Georgians unlock the defence with a wee bit of magic? Well, yes. Yes, they can, man. Scrum. Pass, pass, kick. Cross kick to Tottawa. Remember, the Welsh are missing an outside back. And boom, for Tottawa goes over. And with the conversion, two-point game. Crazy stuff. I really wish I didn't know the result as I was watching this one. Because I was just watching it play out kind of in stunned silence instead of on the edge of my seat. Um, the yellow card ends, so they've only conceded the 7-point Wales. I say only. Uh, in this game, that's a, a fair chunk of the points. But um, they get pinged again for a no-clear release. Trying the choke tackle again, but when the opposition gets their knee to the ground, you've got to release, and they're not really in a position to release because they're too busy going for the choke tackle. Fortunately for Wales, that penalty is missed. So they still maintain the slenderest of leads. Uh, but they're still under a lot of pressure. And then I think Wales do kind of wrestle the momentum back from Georgia, despite the fact that they don't score. Like, Favala is a decent attack, but he ends up knocking it on. Um, 
uh, Wales end up winning a penalty on halfway. They don't opt for a stupid long shot at goal. They go for touch. Can they land a killer blow, you know, down Georgia's end? Well, they get turned over. So the answer is no. Then it looks like maybe they have, because Faletel later on goes down the left wing. He puts a weak grubber through. Wobbled ball. Guy's going for a Jack Morgan. Looks to be the Johnny on the spot. Hat trick. It's going to be, you know, a close Welsh win. But that one gets chalked off for a uh, for a knock on by Falatau on the build up. Not often you see him knock the ball on that often, but that one was an awkward kind of scramble. So yeah, Georgia still within touching distance, and then the Georgian scrum just absolutely kicks things up a notch, doesn't it? Their their substitutes came on and just put that Welsh pack to the sore. They got a scrum penalty, get themselves out of their own half, and then they attacked on halfway. Welsh defence holds, but only enough for a knock-on. Knock-on means a scrum. Scrum means George and shove. Shove means penalty. Penalty means shot at goal. And this guy, what's his name? McCarver? I've only, I don't think I've seen him play before. I only know he plays for that Black Lions club in Georgia, which kind of plays lower level club rugby around Europe with all the clubs which aren't in like the Champions Cup and Champions uh, Trophy. What's it called? The one below the Champions League? Champions Cup? That one. So, um, man, that guy. This was like a second cap. What a penalty. What a kick. Puts Georgia in front with like two minutes to play. Wales get a turnover from the restart, but only enough for a scrum. I guess what happens to that scrum? They get monstered again. Georgians manage to hang on. And it's a famous, famous win for Georgia. Crazy, crazy stuff. You can see what it meant to them. These guys want more game time, man. And it's such a weird one. They can beat Wales away from home. They beat Italy this year. They also lost to Georgia, to Georgia, to Samoa. Wales can beat, I don't know, like Argentina last week, who who beat uh, who beat uh, England, who drew with New Zealand, you know, who lost them one to Ireland this year. It's all over the shop, isn't it? It's great seeing all the parody. Um, this game, though, run meters 278 to 376. The Georgians edge it. Possession 5446. The Georgians. Territory 5446, though, to the Welsh. So it's a bit of a split. Clean breaks 5 to 2 to the Georgians. Who would have picked that prior to this game? Not many. Wales tackle at 91% and 147 tackles. That's why you only concede 13 points, but the Georgians tackled at 94%. Just that touch better, man. Defenders beaten 14-8 to the Georgians. Turnovers conceded 13-10 to the Welsh. I mentioned the bright spot that is Jack Morgan. 41 metres, two tries, two clean breaks and three defenders beaten. He's dangerous. Gareth Thomas, 14 from 14 tackles. Um, Nini Ashvili at the, at the back for Georgia. 57 metres, a clean break. Five defenders beaten, wins a turnover. Shara Kadza in the midfield, the leader. 12 from 13 tackles and a turnover. These guys are in the same World Cup pool. Talk about spicy. Good times, folks. You guys let us know what your thoughts are. Did you watch this one live? Tell me how you were feeling during this game. Probably not that great if you're a Welsh fan, but maybe you can kind of appreciate them getting their first win and what it means for them. I remember seeing the All Blacks in recent years get beat by Ireland for the first time, get beaten by Argentina for the first time, uh, losing first series win to Ireland at home, first loss ever at home to Argentina. So we've had a few firsts in recent times, which it's kind of been... In a way, uh, you know, you're able to appreciate it for the opposition, although it'll still kind of burn to lose to Georgia if you're Welsh. But man, it was massive day for rugby. You guys had any thoughts and um, yeah, talk to you again soon. See you later.